So now we're going to move on to our icebreaker question. All right, I'm going to read the quote for you. The quote says, I've learned that people will forget what you said. People will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. I'm going to read it again. I said it's a bit of a tough icebreaker. Who said this famous quote? I've learned that people will forget what you said. People will forget what you did but people will never forget how you made them feel. Hmm. I'll give you a hint. She is an activist. She's an African-American woman. She was a famous poet. And one of the books she wrote was I Know Why the Cage Bird Sings. Maya Angelou. Yes. Maya Angelou. Yep, that's one of my favorite quotes. And you can kind of reverse if you're paraphrasing it. But the quote pretty much says, people will forget what you did oh to them, what you said to them, but they'll never forget how you made them feel. I love that quote by Maya Angelou, which brings us to this week's topic. And this week's topic is kindness. So before we move on to our kindness video that I have queued, I want to read the definition of kindness to everyone. If you can all hear me, give me a thumbs up. The definition of kindness in the Oxford and Webster di Dictionary says, the quality of being friendly, Wait. generous, and considerate. What does generous mean? Oh, great. I'm glad you asked that. So generous is like if you have a whole bunch of one thing or not even a whole bunch of it, if you're willing to share what you have, you're generous. Tracy touched on the word generous. Before we move on to the other adjectives that define this word, generous is mean if you don't, if you have a lot or you have a little, you're willing to share it. What is one thing that you can share to be generous? Tracy said her necklaces. How about you, Michael? What is one thing you can share to be generous? Sweets. Yes, way to go. Now we're going to talk about being considerate. Considerate means that you are cognizant and that you are careful not to cause hurt or inconvenience to someone, like you care about the person's feelings. How about you for one? Okay, what would you do to be considerate to me? Like, I made you a bracelet? Yes. All right, Michael, your turn. I am considerate if I... If I do something kind. Yes. Way to go, Michael. Round of applause. Let's give everybody a round of applause. The last part of the definition of kindness is being friendly. We're going to do a short poll to talk about how we can be friendly to one another. I'm going to launch your poll. It's going to come right up across your screen. Everybody look up at their screen. There's your poll. We're going to take two minutes to answer the question. Please type your answer into the computer. All right, we're going to end the poll and we're going to look at the answers, okay? So the poll is okay. ending on your screen. Yep, and I'm going to share the results. So we have that you can be kind volunteering. I'm very proud of you each for typing in an answer. You, you all rock. All right, I'm going to start the video. This video is amazing. Look at these wonderful 35 acts of random kindness. 